The process of enrolling in the Alaska Care Health Plan begins on the Retirement and Benefits homepage at doa.alaska.gov slash drb. Once here, you will click on the My RMB button. This takes you to a page where you can log on or create a My Alaska account. My RMB logon requires a My Alaska account. This may be familiar to some as it is the same logon username and password used for making application for the permanent fund dividend. If you have a My Alaska account, you will click Login and be taken to a page where you enter your username and password. If you forgot your username or password, there are links to assist in the process of recovering each. The new user, Register for a My Alaska account, links to the same page as the Create a My Alaska account on the previous page. Both of those links take you to this page where you can register for an account with My Alaska if you don't already have one. Do be aware many applications use the same My Alaska account, and if you already have one, you do not want to create duplicate accounts. There are links here to recover username and password as well. If you are a new employee and you are unable to log into My RB, it means your employment information has not been received by the division. If you are unable to log into My RB, you can still enroll timely using this link. This should only be used if you are not able to log into your My RB account and it requires additional information you may have to get from your admin or HR group. Instructions for using this link are at the end of the video. Once you've logged in, your personal information will be under the My RB profile. Under Self-Service Tools, you will click on Alaska Care Health Benefits Enrollment or Alaska Care Health Benefits Open Enrollment, which is how the link is titled during the annual open enrollment period. Once linked to this page, under Other Options, there are links to review current and future benefits and the ability to switch between accounts if you have more than one employer who participates in the Alaska Care Health Plan. If you do not have dependents, you will enter the change reason from the drop-down box. Are you newly hired? Are you updating benefits at open enrollment? Did you have a qualifying event allowing you to change benefits? Be sure to choose the appropriate reason. Not doing so can cause delays in the process. You will enter the date for the event and hit Change Elections. If you have dependents for your medical, dental, or vision benefits, you will click the Health Dependent Enrollment button before proceeding. This is important because the choices you are offered in the next step of the process will be driven by the level of coverage based on the dependents entered. The Health Dependent Enrollment links to this page. If you have dependents entered, they will show up on the left-hand side and you will notice that this dependent has been verified and has a green checked notification. To add a dependent, you will click the button and here you will enter basic coverage, and contact info for each dependent. Then scrolling down, once the dependent information is entered, you will hit the Create button. The dependent you entered will show with a yellow enrollment pending notice. You should look over the information entered for accuracy, and if needed, there are Edit and Remove buttons at the bottom of the page. To add another dependent, hit the back link at the bottom of the page and go through the process of setting up additional dependents. Once all dependents are created, if the information is accurate, it's very, very important that you print, sign, and send the verification to the Division of Retirement Benefits. The hard copy signed verification is required for a dependent to be covered. The form can be faxed or mailed to the division. Both fax number and address are on the form. Once verification is received, dependents will show with a green verified notice. To get back to the enrollment process, Hit the Back to Benefits Enrollment link under the Welcome at the top. If enrolled, you will see your current elections on the right-hand side of the screen. You will make your benefit elections for the Medical, Dental and Vision Plans, and the Health Flexible Spending Account by choosing an option in each of the drop-down boxes. Remember, the options offered here are based on the dependents previously entered. If you did not enter your dependents first, you will only be offered coverage for yourself. Once complete, you will hit the Continue button. This brings you to the final steps in the process, checking your selections and hitting the Submit Elections button. You must submit the elections to be enrolled. Once you submit elections, a page will pop up indicating Enrollment Complete with an Enrollment ID number. 
you are encouraged to print this page for your records. At this point, you may log out or return to my RNB. You have completed enrollment in the Alaska Care Health Benefits. As mentioned earlier, if you are unable to log into my RNB, this link will allow you to record your benefit elections timely. If using this process and you have dependents, you must remember to log into your my RNB account when it has been established to add the dependents and print, sign, and submit the verification form. Here you will add the required information using the drop-down boxes as appropriate. If you don't know your bargaining unit, employment status, or job type, someone in your administrative or human resources group should be able to provide that for you. All of the information except your email address is required. Once entered, hit the Continue button. You can make benefit elections by using the drop-down boxes and entering the amount for the HFSA if choosing. You will be offered all benefit options since this process is not driven by the dependents you will need to add once your My RNB account can be accessed. Once elections are chosen, hit the Continue button. And it's time to review your elections. If there are changes to be made, you can hit the Back button. If everything is accurate, it is important to hit the Submit Elections button so your choices are recorded. Once submitted, you are encouraged to print the enrollment completed notice for your records. You will be automatically enrolled in the benefits chosen. Your My RMB account will be activated when your employment information is received from your payroll group. Once the account is activated, it is important that you access and follow the instructions for adding and verifying your dependents.